Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to um, bring in a point cloud uh, right into AutoCAD and then I'm going to show you how to orient the, the cloud with a couple different tools we have uh, in Cloudworks. So I've got AutoCAD open here and then I'm going to go into my Cloudworks tab and I'm going to open up a Jetstream file that I have. Uh, this is a, a just BLK file that I, I published straight from Register 360. So I'm going to open that up and then I uh, see it opens up pretty quick here. And then I'm going to uh, pull up my view cube and you can see that uh, this, this house is not really aligned to anything. I didn't uh, create any coordinate system in Register 360 so it's, it was just dropped in here uh, pretty randomly. So um, basically what I want to do is align the house so it's aligned with my view cube so it makes it easier to um, hop around and, and create my drawings and stuff like that. Um, so the, the first tool I'm going to show you, if I can navigate here, um, up here on the top left we have a, a couple different orientation tools and then I'm going to use this floor wall tool first. So first thing it's going to ask for is, is to pick on a floor point and I'm going to you have to find a, a place in your data set where you have a, a nice uh, floor and a wall at a, at a 90 degree angle so um, here's a good spot and click on that and the second thing it's going to ask is to find a wall point so this this door is uh, pretty good so I'm going to click on that and then you'll notice this view cube up here um, reorients itself so um, now it's oriented to that um, that floor and wall. So if I go ahead and click on the top here, it'll pull me um, up to the top view, and you can see that the house is now oriented with this view cube. So uh, it makes things a lot easier. Um, another thing I'm going to show you. Just let me clip a couple points away. Um, when you when you use the, the floor wall tool, uh, it makes it so that the x y plane um, lies, and the the z direction is the elevation. So uh, this is great for drawing um, on on the x y plane uh, for uh, drawing floor plans or anything like that. But um, you'd have to readjust your uh, coordinate system if you wanted to draw on the on the facade of the building or something like that. So if you wanted to um, really quickly jump into a coordinate system where um, you, you would be able to draw the front of this house, um, there is a tool for that. So if you if you go into that same same button and you choose the wall tool, uh, you can see I can. It'll ask me to uh, pick on a wall point. I can just click on this wall right here. And that view cube will reorient itself. So uh, now if I, if I click on the top, it'll pull me straight into uh, this view. So um, now that the XY plane is um, on, on the front of the building, so if I were to create my drawings, um, I could draw out this the front of this building. Um, there, there also you can you can save each one of these uh, coordinate systems, and if if you save it, um, it it'll uh, you'll always be able to jump back to it if you can. So if you have a point, a certain um, point or or elevation that you want to always be able to uh, jump back into. You can save that coordinate system and then swap between your different, uh, the different datums or different um, origins. All right, I hope this video was helpful. Um, please let me know if you have any questions either in the comments below or, or shoot me an email. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.